welcome back to my channel. It's Jari by the title. Today we're going to be doing a vloggy, vloggy, vloggy vlog. Oh, that was so cringe. Y'all see my hair looking crazy right now. I'm finna go in the bathroom and fix my hair. Time is down. A little thing in the room. So, I want to do an update in my life, but I don't think y'all ready yet. So, I'm going to give it like three more weeks and then do an update of my life if y'all want. And I know I posted Q&A the other day or things y'all want to know about me, but I don't think y'all ready to know things about me yet. I'm going to give it some time. It's sunny outside, y'all. I'm wearing a two-piece set. Looking good. Feeling good. Oh, look at them furs. Play with her. But we finna go do our hair real quick. Our house shoes. We finna um, fix my hair up real quick. Flat iron it. Let me, let me plug these up. So I'm finna just plug these up. So I can get my hair looking cute. Cause it look crazy right now, low key. I use two flat irons, y'all. I gotta use two. This one get this one get my roots good. Well, this one get my roots good, but this is safer to put on my roots, cause I don't know why, but my hair style is telling me that. So, I'ma listen to her. Put that mug on 450, but you really supposed to put it on 200. But I'm gonna put it on 450. I'ma let them heat up. I'm gonna show y'all my business stuff going, how it's going so far. So currently I'm in the process of I can't really put my business out there. But I'm in the process of getting all of this put up somewhere. Taken care of. So I got I got a lot of stuff, y'all. This is not even all of it. This is just what's out of the packages. I still got this all the trash packages over there. It's a lot of organizing I gotta do. So for now, I just got the clothing. Make sure y'all shop VixenBoulevard.com and show me some love whenever the time come. I'm releasing March 25th and I'm going to release a few items and then I'm going to keep releasing after that. But I currently have the small packaging for the jewelry and then the bubble wrap so y'all stuff don't get cracked. Because I, I don't want y'all stuff getting cracked. And then what else I got? The big packages. Yes, that's a lot of stuff. I got so many cute outfits, y'all. Like, I'm wearing one of the cute outfits right now. I have to try it on. You know, I have to make sure they look right for y'all. Then we got the lashes I'm going to still give y'all. And these are going for the low low. So, make sure y'all click that link. And I might just go ahead and release these early because I have everything ready for that. Then I have the rings like this. Yes. Y'all go shop with me. On the rings. And then what else we got? We got all inventory in these drawers that I need to organize. And I don't know if I want to sell them anymore. So they just been selling the drawers. I think I kind of just want to start fresh. And what else I got? Oh, I got lip gloss. I got a lot of lip gloss for y'all. Like the good quality lip gloss that lasts long, long. And what else we got? Hair growth oil. Yes. So make sure y'all tune in. Like y'all finna show y'all how I get my hair to grow, grow. But I've been using it for a minute, trying it out. And the ingredients, I tweaked them a little bit. I told, I told my vendors to um, tweak, you know what I'm saying? Make the labels cute. Everything just, everything is just ready. But I have to wait for them to get ready and ship all of those to me. And then that's when I feel like I'm gonna be comfortable to promote it. I mean, to sell it. So. That's all I'm really doing. I'm just waiting on them to give me the okay to start and give me the all my products here before I release my business. And everything else is ready. I got all the packages, everything. I'm just so ready to release this stuff. So make sure y'all go shop with me. I'm going to put my link in the description box. And y'all see everything that's available now is going to be on the website. And the stuff that's not ready, it won't be on the website until it's ready. So y'all ask, where is this, where is that? I will be announcing when everything is releasing. But as of now, the stuff that I will do have available will be released. Well, the stuff that I do have on hand will be released on March 25th for sure. So, make sure y'all shop with me. Shop Vixen Boulevard. On Instagram, it's Vixen Boulevard. And my hair growth page is Noni Tracy. So, make sure y'all go shop with Noni. And... Yeah, your girl got y'all together. I got everything. I got lip gloss, lashes, 
clothing, jewelry, everything. So, and her growth oil. Who can, what can, how can you go wrong with her growth oil? Like, y'all trying to get inches. Y'all, my inches grew back so much. Like, from them wigs, y'all see I haven't worn a wig in a minute. I haven't worn a wig since the beginning of the, uh, February 8th, I think. And I stopped wearing them and trying to grow my edges back. And y'all can see, like, like, I can really push my hair back. I can push my hair back. And, like, my my natural baby hair will still fall down. And it didn't used to do that. So, I'm about to help y'all how I help myself. Hold on, my camera's crazy. So, make sure y'all be ready. And if y'all want y'all inches, make sure y'all go shop with Noonie. It's Shop Vixen Boulevard. And I will be having my hair growth page connected to that same link so you just gotta go on a sidebar and then i'm gonna have new tresses that's gonna be the label for my hair growth so you can just click that and it's gonna take you to the hair growth page and you can check out on all on one website instead of having two different websites it's just easier for y'all and easier for me so i'm not gonna keep talking y'all ears off i just wanted to give y'all a rundown because everybody kept asking me when you i want like i promote it on my page and they'll be like the website down the website down but the website not down it's just not open yet but when y'all see this video, it might be open, but only the stuff that's available, that's on hand will be able to purchase. Everything not going to be on there yet, like the hair growth oil, the lip gloss, and a few sets that I still need to get. I'm going to do my hair. It's getting hot in here. I'm trying to, um, but I can't. Oh, I really want to cut you off, but I can't. Boy, I really want to tell you off, but I can't. I can't even tell y'all. But I'm going to show y'all when the time comes. What's what's up with Nuni? What's to Nuni? But y'all will see why. Oh, I'm showing my bra. That's very um ladylike. But yeah, just stay tuned, and y'all know Nuni won't let y'all down. So anything else ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, so I just finished refining my hair. Now I'm gonna do my edges and get outside. It's literally like five o'clock, and my tattoo appointment at five o'clock. So. Hopefully he be cool when we come in still. I didn't play I didn't play him but I've been late. I was supposed to be there at twelve. I missed it. Come at one fifteen, I missed it. Come at four thirty, I missed it. Then he told me come at five. I was like, Okay, cool. You still you still let me come? So it's four forty and I ain't left yet, so I gotta hurry up basically. So to get these edges looking cute and y'all my edges do not be heat damaged. Cause I'll be curling once a day. Curl them once a week. Or only when I'm going places. And I do it on super low heat. Super duper low heat. And then you lay the media down. So take a little glass to be glue. Right here. And you want to wipe that off a little bit. Then you want to take this wax stick and brush. Get some on your brush. You got a little, I got a lot on here, so I'm going to some of it off. And you spray it. Let it dry a little bit because y'all don't want too much product on your hair. Let that dry. Comb it first in that direction. And then you don't want to put that stuff on her. Oh, 
try to hold this back so Take a little bit of spray on my comb to get the flowers. Let's eat this all. There we go. The curly part cute right here. But I ain't want to put too much right here, but I'm going to have to. I can't. I can't go out the house looking like that. That's okay. Nah, I look decent. You look alright. Is this part for me though? Yes, I'm playing with that girl. Let me unplug this stuff and get out the house before this man cancel on me. Cause I'm already late and I need to be there. I need to stop playing with his time. All right, y'all. So I just made it to a tattoo appointment and I'm late. I'm an hour late, but he cool. He chilling, doing what he doing, and I'm gonna order me some food. And then I'm gonna go in the shop and get my tattoo. And then after that, yeah, it's up after that. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for my food to get done. It's some Nashville hot chicken. Excuse me, I ordered chicken strips and fries and a frozen lemonade. So, we all finna see how it look. And I was gonna order a pizza, but I was like, nah, because I'm tired of pizza. But I wanna try a chicken strip and see what they're talking about. Y'all yeah, gonna see it when I get it. But shit, I can't stand people, y'all. This is why I don't deal with people. Y'all yeah, clean my car out again. Full, super clean. Super duper clean. Whole car clean. But yeah, this motherfucker clean, clean. Panoramic roof. Oh, she all in the vlog. Oh, she got dreads. Oh, I'm through. Oh, I'm through. I'm through. All right, y'all. So, all right, y'all. So, it's always all right, y'all. It's never do y'all want some money. But for real, for real, I'm tired. I'm going to just give y'all a motivational speech. So, while I wait for my phone, that gave me a little buzzer thing. I ain't going to say it's a motivational speech, but I always end up giving some type of advice. But currently, y'all see what's going on. I, me and I don't deal with certain people no more. And it's not like y'all gotta be mad off of what they do, what they decide to do from this point on. Y'all cannot be mad at them. Because clearly, if I'm not mad, of course y'all gonna be mad. And God, y'all, like, it's gonna be a lot of people that say stuff towards that person, but it's just like how you move is what create that. It's how you make people say stuff, say stuff to you. Because personally, I feel like Flo is being attacked because he got on here, made a video, made multiple videos, just to pop out with multiple girls on his channel. And shit, that's what he wanna do. I'm not mad, I'm not mad at all. Whatever he do, that's fine with me. Like, he said we cool, no we is not cool. We do not talk and we is not getting back together. But how you move after that is what make people, other people be mad at you. But I feel like, me personally, I'm not mad at you. Whatever you do, it just show me what type of person you is. And it's cool with me. Like, I'm not mad at you. and But we not cool, though. Like, we is not cool. I don't need you telling people we cool. Because everything that you posting, everything that he posting is not, is not 
accurate to what is really happening. Like, we not, you know, you making this thing like we cool and shit. Like, no, we didn't just, okay, we cool, we not together, boom, do you. No, we was never, we not cool. We was cool once upon a time until the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit happened. But I just saying, like, I'm saying this to say, don't get on here and keep making videos without confronting me on these topics and then you telling the world shit that you haven't discussed with me so it's making you seem like you saw social media when i feel like it, shit can be handled so much better than what it was handled and i understand some people that's some people's coping mechanisms because they become like shit happened i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm definitely not saying i'm fucking perfect guys. that's why i don't even get on here because i know that we both did shit we both have our wrongs like you know what i'm saying like we both we not perfect that's why i'm not mad at him but i'm definitely not cool with him don't because you like you lying it's like you getting on here lying and i don't like that because now you telling people shit that you haven't discussed with me and it's like no that's not true like you you being fake now but at the end of the day what i'm basically saying is oh she looks familiar but don't respond to shit but fine i'm like fuck it let's get it mm -hmm. get done i don't know why they saying the same thing that same part over but it's like don't be trying to um this is my thing don't be trying to make other people hate me or um, just because you and your feelings because i'm not sitting around talking bad about you it's the thing it's like the principles and i and i probably i'm on these i haven't spoken to him i'm only going through here because people always asking people always commenting people be attacking him from what i heard but it's like i don't want y'all getting mad at him and whatever i do shit it's not gonna hit the net for real for real but my main thing well my tattoo artist right here y'all finna see damn my food not done i gotta give it a talking so basically like you can't be sitting around talking bad about somebody that's not talking bad about you because now it's like what the fuck really going on like i thought we, i thought it was better than this so you can't be sitting around saying we cool if you talking shit about me and talking so much shit about me it's like you really in your feelings now i can't be cool with you but i'm not gonna confront you like why did you say this about me why did you do this like no i don't it's fuck you for real for real now because like now it's like Ain't no, ain't no friendship in this shit. Like, it just show me where we stand and show me that you're not real. And I'm cool on that because you can't claim here and say I'm not real and you not real. Because how the fuck can you say I'm not real when you not real? You're not even real enough to say who real or fake. So, you can't sit on here trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of that shit dead to me. Like, but, so, all I'm saying is whatever he do, he doing it because he's able to do it. Like, he don't need no permission from nobody. He don't need... He not on here to make nobody happy. He doing whatever the fuck he want to do, and that's perfectly fine. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. But the thing is, the difference is, I'm not on here trying to prove a point. That's the difference. I'm not finna stand on here trying to prove no point. I'm not on here trying to attack nobody. I'm not on here trying to make nobody mad. Anything I'm doing, I'm being genuine about it. And and that's just the end of the day. Like, motherfuckers can't take the real shit. Like, motherfuckers will say you, say you fake when, when you do something that they don't agree with. But at least I'm being real. Like, the fuck, I'm being real. Why would I be fake? Just because you don't agree with it. Like, that's like, that's like me. That's like me agreeing, like, being a yes man to everything my friend doing. So, let's say you be a, if you be a yes man to everything your friend is doing, you not a real friend. How could you sit there and say yes to everything they doing, agree to everything they want to do? No, you got to get them some sense. Tell them what the fuck really up and make it make sense to them. You can't sit there and agree because that means you're not helping think with them. You're not thinking with them. You're just agreeing with everything they want to do. No, I'm not going to agree with everything because, no, that's not it. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna mislead you and none of that shit. But some people will rather you mislead them just so you don't just so they can sleep better at night like no you gotta take the real shit this real life shit like no you gotta be realistic with yourself and i honestly feel like people be a too too damn old to be doing the shit that they be doing and that's the end of that like i'm not even finna get on here and make nobody make y'all not like nobody make y'all feel like oh she right all the way like i don't care some people might disagree with me i don't care i said what i said i just feel like I just feel like people need to be wiser and and more genuine and not 
become hateful just because something don't work out because now all the shit I didn't heard a motherfucker say about me is never gonna get back to them because I don't I care but I don't care. I took what I, I heard what I heard and I was like, okay, babe, that's how this person really is and I left it alone. And that was that. So what what you think what you think I'm gonna do? Sit around and be toxic? No, I'm not gonna be toxic because I already have people other people I've been toxic with. Why would I keep wanting to go through that? Like no, I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to focus on my businesses. And I'm not trying to get no distractions because if you, I feel like you're distracting me, what is we in this for? Because, like, I I just know, I know how to read people. I don't know when it's the hidden motive. And I'm not in this shit to, I'm not in this shit to be grimy because where I'm from, everybody grimy. And I'm not trying to fall into that category because that ain't it. I'm not trying to be like them. I'd rather continue to be myself and separate myself from all distractions. Rather a motherfucker understand it or they don't understand it. And if you don't understand it, Oh well, you might realize it later. That's on you. I'm not tripping. I'm still gonna be me. Y'all see, I'm still me. I'm not. I'm not faking up, faking the funk, proving no points or nothing. So at the end of the day, I'm still gonna be me. And I'm only made a video. I only put this in here because I'm sitting in the car bored, and people keep asking anyway. So I'm like, I might as well just speak on. You know what I'm saying? Give it briefly, but no. This, this is not something that you need to be mad at me about or him about. It's cool. I'm not going to make no videos on what happened. I don't expect him to make no videos on what happened. But if it's for a pretty penny, he just might. And if he does, oh well. Y'all will not be hearing me speak on this shit. Because I'm past it. And I'm just focusing on myself and my business. And that's that. You know, I don't have no head in my heart towards nobody. None of his friends. His friends, some of his friends are my friends, and I feel like if they don't fuck with me, oh fucking well. I was they, I was living my whole 18 years without, you know, knowing some people, so it's not gonna hurt me. But if the move, if people move like that, then it's cool. But I don't have no issue with none of them. That's why I still follow them, and I'm still cool with them. But it's just like my issue is with you, and that's that, and that's it. Cause it's like nobody should be involved in this shit. But you know what I'm saying? But me and you, but you involve so many people and shit and speak to me like I'm a fucking topic of the day every fucking day mm -hmm. so it's becoming an issue my food ready so we done talking you done talking me too oh that's loud all right y'all be there all right y'all finna show y'all what's on the menu I got me a frozen lemonade and I'm telling y'all this tastes like some black people food like the kool-aid it tastes like kool-aid but as a slush and it's fine They did they big one. They did they big one. Alright, I'm gonna look at the food and then I'm gonna test this man and see if he wanna come in yet. Cause I ain't wanna go in there yet. He can't tell me so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they popped that shit. What the Y'all, why is it this good? These people know how to cook, and they not black. But they know how to cook. Yeah, I'm about to write this number down. Because I'm coming here again. Bro, why is that food this good? They fries on point. You don't even got no seasoning. And they still good. Alright, let's try the chicken. Boy, what? They, they messed up. Let me see this place. I'm going to go ahead and, and try to see my camera.
Damn, fuck Steve. I say watch out. Now everybody look. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that nigga need to open the shop down every day. What you talking about? But I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in the car because they finna close. Oh, uh, me and my brother finna go to Chick fil A. Yeah, I don't know where he is, but he better not be behind me. Okay. He went back in the house. How you doing? It's like some burning. You been in the back seat? That shit right there is only moving. This? Mm -hmm. Alright, so what's up to the vlog? What's up, man? It's your boy Marsky, man. <laughs> you change your name every fucking day. I don't know who Marsky is because. Lamar, Terrell. You just you just changed your name for Shoot, your I got time. shit. I got two different identities. I can choose whatever the fuck I want to go at. <laughs> <laughs> Not Two different social securities, get at me. I snitching on yourself. You ain't supposed to say shit like that. Right, but y'all, we finna go to Chick fil A. I don't know why you sat in the back seat. Bro, I had this chicken today where I got my tattoo hit. Mm. It, it tastes so good, bro. And they got Kool Aid, what well, Kool Aid um, frozen lemonades. Bro, I said, we gotta go there. They got some fire shit. But we finna go to Chick-fil-A and then get back to the crib. Alright y'all, I made it back to the crib. I'm about to do some. Take pictures and some of my clothes for the website. I don't know why I work better at night time, but you know we gotta jump back into the business. And then I gotta pack my bags. And then I'm finally back from the tattoo shop and then to get right back to business. 
And yeah, so I'm getting another tattoo. I'm getting three more tattoos and I'm going to chill for a second. But I think I'm addicted to tattoos now. So I think I might get small pieces of my sleeve done at a time. So I can keep going, keep going. Because I just, I don't want to like get my whole sleeve done at one time. But I started it today. And I'm going to finish it probably in like a month. It, like I'm going to do it like, probably like go next week and then go again and then go again. And then be done with my sleeve. And then I'm getting me a, my thigh tattoo. I'm going to finish that. Well, not finish it, but add to it. And then I might do a foot tattoo. And then I'm going to be done for a minute. Other than that, that's it. That's all. But... It's 111. The camera second stopped at 111. Alright. I keep seeing angel numbers. Like, I keep seeing every angel number. Like, I haven't seen 888, but I've seen 111, 333, 222, 444. I keep seeing those. Like, 1 through 4. I, I, I see them every day. Like, I, every last one of them. Almost every day. But, yeah, that's how I'm finna end my night. I'm probably gonna just wash my face, brush my teeth, and chill. But that was it for today. Um, I guess I'll do more vlogs. Yeah, it'd be hard to vlog because I'm trying to become a real businesswoman. Like, I'm gonna look back and be like, damn, this is where we started. Like, yes, we started right here. And we gonna be big and it's gonna be big and i really want to focus on my business because i'm so passionate about it right now and i want to forever be passionate about becoming my own business woman like becoming my own boss like like that's my that's my goal for real to just become a big boss and just have all of my business how i want them running and when they all be up and running I, that's when i'm gonna sit back and i could probably post more videos but as of now i'm focused mainly on my business till i get it organized better and stable then i can sit back and record more but as of now, I focus on this. Don't think I forgot about y'all. I came so far. Since my last video I posted, I've been literally focused on my business every, every day. Like, this relaunch is going to be so organized. I can't even stress how organized it's going to be. But it's going to be organized. And I'm ready to release. Like, I'm so, but my, my problem is I'm so impatient. I wanted to release it today. And I'm like, no, we're going to wait. I got all the packages. I got my computer, my label printer everything i need except for two items that i'm missing from my vendor and i'm i still want to get the hair growth oil and my what else i need the hair growth oil the lip gloss and two more outfits that i'm waiting on from my vendor but that's it child and my lip gloss is popping like they show me how it look i want to show y'all give y'all a sneak peek but I'm just show y'all whenever I get it in person. And then with the hair growth oil, that's fine. Like the label, I didn't have a label. When I first was sampling it out, when I've been trying it out, I didn't put a label on there. Yeah, I was just getting samples to see if it worked. And y'all, when I say it grow your hair back so fast, y'all gonna see it. It's gonna like it's gonna speak for itself. So just be patient with me and I'm gonna have everything ready for y'all. And then the labels are so pretty, y'all. Like I'm so satisfied. Like I just thank God so much. Like I'm so ready to release it. And I just hope that y'all be ready to, you know what I'm saying, support me. And it's going to speak for itself. Like, it's going to sell itself for real. Because the oil works. And I I promise y'all, y'all going to see the results. And shit, y'all see the results. My edges was gone. Like, you see you see when, what from was doing to your hair. My edges was gone, y'all. And I wish I would have. I probably got old videos where it was, my edges was thinner. But my edges so dark now. Like, my edges were so thin, I didn't even want to pull my edges down. I just wanted to wear the no edges natural look. But, I'm not going to keep talking to y'all ears off. I gave y'all a little glimpse of me at the tattoo shop. And I'm going to do a tattoo reveal. Uh, should I? I, wouldn't, I was going to do it in this video. But, I didn't, I'm going to just show y'all my whole tattoo when I finish my sleeve. And then, I'm going to do a whole body tattoo reveal. Because I got thigh tattoos. You know everything, and I can just go through all of them at the same time instead of doing them by video. But yes, I will be adding more to my um sleeve, and y'all y'all gonna see my whole tattoo. But don't be stealing my tattoo, cause everybody stole this tattoo, and I don't like that. I don't really like that shit. But y'all can steal them. Y'all see, it's like God is within her; she will not fail. This is my favorite tattoo, and that's why I was scared to really start my sleeve because I didn't want to cover that up. But he said he gonna make it to where it's not covered up and then I can still see it. And then see all my other good tattoos on the other side. But I'm gonna do my tattoo reveal probably in, probably in like a week or two. Because I gotta add more to it. And then y'all can see the whole tattoo. But that's all for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And peace dear babies. Love y'all. Stay blessed.